Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Sanctum League 3.20. In this episode, I'm going to be uh, doing some Blight Ravage Crimson Temples with Triple Gold, Triple Silver, Triple Opalescent. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, let's test out the loot, and uh, I'll be showing it at the end. Let's see how we did. Let's see how much money we can make. Alright, Triple Gold. Triple Silver. Triple Opalescent Blade Ravage Crimson Temple 28 Qual 300 quantity. We got four of these. We'll be checking out the loot of these. Uh, see how good we do. And uh, how profitable is this? How much loot can we can we get in Sanctum League? Uh, so yeah, I used perfect fossils, and I also used fractured fossils to split them to get an extra copy because they were this base, the Crimson Temple. But uh, anyways, the I want to roll higher quant, so it was only 323. I want it like 330, 340, um, something like that. Uh, you also don't want to roll cannot be stunned or avoid uh, elemental ailments or um, action speed cannot be slowed because they can't be frozen. You're trying, see, yeah, you're trying to use um, a chill freeze tower and uh, stun tower. So obviously you you don't want them to be immune to those things. Uh, that's recommended. Um, and then yeah, I'm just rolling them with chaos. And then I use a Valorb, and I try to get eight mods. Oh wait, first I uh, also add an extra mod, so a suffix. Boom. Uh, we got the avoid le ailments. Three thirty three. Uh. Open suffix. We added that. We're good. Next. Uh, this one has open suffix. Frenzy. Uh, open prefix. Beyond. And open prefix. Skellies. Um, so now you can see the quant 352, 343, 343. Um, and since the base is worth so much and the oils are worth so much, it's worth doing the stuff with the rolling of the map with the um, exalts. And now we can valid and try to get an 8 mod or uh, an ID or bricking it so this one uh, we didn't brick it at least but it did get less quantity but it's not that bad and now it's valid so we can also now f uh, drop tainted oils and I've dropped 118 of them let's get the loot uh, we use sacrifice fragments for 5% quant and mortal fragments for 10% quant I use these ones because um, the cost uh, these are cheaper than the ignorance and um the other one and then yeah here's my map 343 let's go and then i'll show you the loot um and the the strat at the beginning i guess oh, it's basically the same blight ravage strat that we've been doing with the towers uh consistent but and we have these annoyance empowering tower range and the chilling tower freezes which is the, I'll, I'll put the annoyance in the description um, and uh, I also have it on my stream as exclamation point on, on uh, oil. But so you just build a chill and power and uh, seismic, and you got to build them in uh, line of sight of each other. So that's all you have to do like a set of three, or you could do a set of two and a set of two. You have enough at the beginning. Um, then I have enough to build slightly an extra tower after two. But uh, you can see it happening over here now. So do the empower first to make sure it has line of sight. It buffs it and it buffs it, so now this can be the um, seismic, this is the chill. And then you want to build some damage towers if need to use a minion towers, uh, scouts, uh, or even shock towers. And like, I'll show one map I guess, and then the loot, and then uh, the rest I'll just show the loot. Because it's it's just the same thing, so we could we're pretty much uh, good already. We could chill. Um, the only thing we have to worry about now that we have um, a stone on both sides. The only thing that gets through that is gonna be uh, this one lane. So this one lane is stun immune, and then the only thing you have to worry about is your chill tower. So what is, what can go wrong is this targets seventeen enemies and freezes them and chills them and they don't move. But if there's more if it gets overwhelmed because you're not killing them, then you can run into an issue and they get past. So you just have to make sure that there's not too many monsters on these. So you could build an extra one, you could build some damage towers, like I said, the Meteor and the Scout. And you usually, if you have like a Meteor and a Scout on each one of these, you're good. 
you know, you could check it out every now and then, like run around, make sure your shit is uh is safe. Because now that, especially when your towers are actually like completely secure, then you're not doing anything. You could sit AFK, but well, you could also just check out your weak spot, make sure you're safe. So it's pretty good. And then yeah, I'll put the oil anoints in the description. Uh, and then, yeah, you can check it on my stream as well. And then it's just this setup. And I just need, like, a meteor over here. And a scout over here. And we'll be really, really good. You can see that nothing's getting through. It's the towers. Oh, and then I'm supposed to take out my animate guardian and uber blight and put the chaos golem in the ring because I don't want to um, get him killed like that video. <clears throat> it's very dangerous. Because of the Nate dead with the uber boss life, having like millions and millions, and then it just does so much damage. So, yeah, it's able to kill my 170,000 HP Chaos Golem in a single hit, so it definitely would kill the AG. I don't even know how much you need. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's even worth it. Yeah, you can see how nice it is. It's like you might as well just build some extra towers that appear right. So you see I build more than one chill. I pretty much just build the one seismic in each area because that'll perma stun. And then I build one empowering to buff them up. Oh, this has beyond. I like the uh, shock tower, and if you have to, if you want to, you could upgrade to the lightning storm, but even the level 3, the shock you're getting on the enemies is pretty strong, 49, so it's just more damage, where the lightning storm is like inaccurate. This just shocks everything, look, look at that, 49, 5, 49 on a boss, real. That's really happening. People don't know how good that tower is. And then the lightning tower shock. Uh, it's not going to be as good. The lightning storm. See boss coming in. Six. What happened to our 49? And look, he's not even getting hit by it. Where's the 49, dude? I ruined the tower. Man. So yeah, level 3 shock tower is pretty sick. More damage. Show you guys the loot now we're basically done all right here we go so uh we have a lot of chests a lot of chests we're gonna start with this uh there's two fractures you have jewelry um and then i like to open up the weird chest first and then leave the best ones to last and way more insane and then there, you holy shit good explosion and i could feel the lag okay Here we go, this is insane. Oh my god.
<laughs> Stag dags. Stag dags. Almost have an edge blood. Oh, monochrome. Stag dags. Yes. The second one. <clears throat> we had a pretty good uh, layout again. We just put down some freeze, uh, improved them, and put down the seismics, and everything just worked really well. Let's get the loot. Already opened up most of the bad chests. We didn't really get too much. And then I, I stored all the loot in a separate quad tab, so we'll be able to see it at the end. It'll be pretty cool. The one thing is, uh, it was a map tab, so it has like a lot of fucking maps, so I won't count them at all. Uh, since it shouldn't it shouldn't count yeah so let's get the loot explore scouting report <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Here we go. Stag dogs. Stag dogs. Stag dogs. Stag dogs. Third map, 411 quant, a billion chests, we're starting with some gems, uh, or uh, none, with some currency. Yeah, I'm still st uh, storing it all up in one stash, we'll look at it in one more map. Be pretty cool. And this was triple gold, triple silver, triple gold the lesson, and exalted orb on rich to awaken sections. Lots of enchanted helmets. Divine Incubator. Silver Oil. An Exalted Orb on Rich. Let's get the loot. This is the final one. 420 quant. Yesterday when I was streaming this, I dropped a few Divine Orbs, even double Divine Orbs while I was doing it, and I got, um, in one map I had the Dragon's Heart and, um, Seven Years Bad Luck, like back to back, it was pretty crazy.
But I'm curious to see how good this is without even having any of that stuff. With just these four maps where we haven't dropped any divines, we haven't dropped anything insane. I'm curious what we've gotten since I have organized it. This will be pretty cool. I got like one gold oil. I wonder if I lost. That would be good to know. Like, if I could just sell the, those Blight Ravage Crimson Temples, because people will want those. <laughs> they want the Apothecary from it. Essence. Tainted Oil. Max ES is decent. Exalted Orb on Rich. Exalted Orb on Rich. Did I really hit... I could have had so many divines, dude. <laughs> so yeah, here's the excellence of pretty much, it was 1845. This was the removal of the maps. Ignore that. But pretty much the top stuff is just stacked decks, chaos orbs, tainted oil. Some of this stuff is uh, undercut, obviously, of what its actual price is. But uh, we'll just take it at face value. And uh, yeah, 1845, which is basically seven divs. So that's decent. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> and that's how we priced it and uh and then that means yeah just on like the average uh we seem to have done all right but yeah it wasn't massive profit is it, it, it doesn't look like the best money but it potentially could be if you do like a large sample because i think with this you pretty much like most things you kind of have to hit something big and we didn't really hit anything big so that's why this sample is meh but then it's like, how big of a sample do you have to do? <laughs> so as a final thing for the video, uh, I'm going to have to test this some more. Um, I'm not. A, that's why I wanted to test it is because I'm not actually even sure if I'm making a lot of money. And then I test it and I fucking got shit on. So yeah, we'll have to do this some more. Uh, you saw how much of the stash that took up. It was a lot of space. So yeah, you gotta, gotta prepare for that. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you've ever done a blight, hit the like button. And if you guys hit that like button, you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified of the next one. Thanks for watching. Now I'd like to thank my Patreon and YouTube members who financially support the channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. Rico549, David, Steven with a PH, uh, Steven with a V, Cynic, Hannes, Lewis, Nicholas, White Wolf, and N8. Thank you guys so much for the support. Bye!